I'm, <laughs> I'm doing another list on tear maker because that's what I am making you whine and cry with my biased rankings today we're doing NHL logos current NHL logos how much do I like them and how much do I not like some we're going from immaculate to excrement starting with the Anaheim not mighty ducks but looking like it we'll go at least grand but I'm thinking I'm thinking this logo can go into spectacle for now right now let's let's start off with spectacle Boston Boston I would put in nice that's a nice logo Buffalo Buffalo is definitely at least nice but I do I'll, I'll put it in grand I I've always really liked that logo we'll put it in grand it's yeah it's pretty good flames I do like that logo I think it goes above norm I'll put it there I've also actually quite liked the Carolina Hurricanes logo I'll put it in nice as well actually let me rank these in, in order you know what I put the Boston ahead of Calgary no I put Calgary ahead of Boston but I'll put Boston ahead of Carolina Chicago oh man this is where I'm gonna get some people coming after me because I won't put it in immaculate because I'm actually saving immaculate just for one logo in particular that's the only reason because I think it could go pretty high but Chicago's definitely in spectacle uh, at the very least like we we gotta at least put it there <laughs> so yeah Colorado this one to me is kind of in the norm I would put this in the norm Colorado Avalanche Columbus oof this is one of my least favorite logos. I'm putting it in rubbish straight up. Excrement, not quite. We, we know what's going in there. <laughs> I can see it already down the line there. But uh, anyway, Dallas, this one's total meh. Uh, it's a downgrade from their older logo that they won the cup in. Detroit is definitely, for me, a spectacle. Um, yeah, put it ahead of my ducks. I'm tempted to put it ahead of uh, Chicago, but I think I'll keep Chicago ahead of it. The Oilers. Well, now, that's something I don't think is that great. <laughs> this logo, never really been that great. I mean, the oil drop is, is cool how they did that. This is interesting, but I don't know. Every time I look at it, I feel like it's lackluster. So this one, to me, it goes in meh. And uh, I'll put it ahead of Dallas, though. I'd say it's a little bit better than Dallas, but yeah, it's a meh. Florida, their logo is good. Um, I Immaculate would be the Leaping Panther logo. That was what I would put at my top of my list. But this logo, it's good. It's a downgrade, but it's still good. Uh, the Stoic Panther. Stoic Panther. Um, but am I just going to put it in nice, or am I going to put it in uh, norm? I'm just going to put it in norm. I'll put it ahead of Colorado, but I'll just put it in norm. Um, Los Angeles Kings, they just updated their logo. I think it looks, I think overall, I know the font is maybe not what I would think of as, as, as nice as the old font, although I do like the thickness of it. I like that they made it a bit thicker. Um, but I, uh, I think overall this logo is, is better than the original Chevron logo. Uh, just a few elements to it. Um, but overall, I do think it's kind of norm still, so I'll actually put it below the avalanche. So, yeah, come at me with your, uh, with your insults and cries, Kings fans, because, uh, I'm not a, I don't share that, uh, <laughs> that love for the Kings that you do. Uh, Minnesota Wild, well, here we go. This is what I think is the immaculate logo. I always love how much detail is in there. It took me like, what was it, like seven or eight years to really realize that uh, this was like actually uh, a bear. In, or, or they don't even say that it is. I think they say it's it's a wild animal. We're, we're an un, undisclosed wild animal. But we know it's a bear. Like, look at that thing. You know, the way the ear is shaped with the sun and the the 
mouth. I mean, the only other thing I think it could possibly be, because it's not a wolf, it's not a cougar, it's not like that. It could maybe be a wolverine. I don't know. I could see it if they were going for wolverine. But, uh, yeah, come on, it's a bear. And the star is the eye and, you know, the little uh, nose-shaped area. Um, it's just great. Wilderness in the form of a wild animal. Once I realized what that was in, like, I don't know, what was it, like 2010, 2011, back in the day? Once I actually realized when that was, what that was, it was like, wow. That logo just jumped up in my head. Because before, I just thought it was a wild wilderness. It was just the wilderness. Cool. But yeah, anyway, Montreal, one of the most classic logos we have here, but um, it's not something that I particularly like that much. In fact, I'm going to put it down just ahead of Colorado here because um, it's just not much. It's a C and an H, and I think even the Bruins B looks a little bit nicer. So do I prefer the Bruins over the Canadians? Uh, no, I don't. I'm not a Bruins fan at all, but I still think the Bruins have the better logo overall maybe not the more classic logo although it's still very classic but uh overall i think it's the better logo uh nashville is definitely grand and i would actually put it ahead of buffalo sorry to the buffalo fans um the new jersey devils um i would put it in nice i think it's kind of a cool thing how they uh merge it in the n and the j together um so yeah, I like how it's not just a full-on face of a devil either, whereas this kind of gives it um, more of a Jersey Devil lore, like that horse creature or something like that, uh, or deer creature. I don't know what it was. I don't know exactly what it looked like. Okay, I didn't see it, guys. But anyway, <laughs> Islanders. I don't mind the Islanders um, logo that much, but I would still put it in Norm. I'll put it at, I think I like it more than Kings. I actually think I like it more than Avs. Um, honestly, I like it more than all these. Uh, so I'll just put it at the top of Norm. I do like the Islanders logo. I like that there's, you know, geography in it. There's an island. Uh, I like the NY, the hockey stick with the four uh, little, um, I don't know, things on the stick. Four little lines representing the four cups. Um, I don't mind the Islanders logo at all. I think uh, a lot of people underrate it. Um, and I mean, that's fine if you do. You know, you can like what you like. I like what I like, right? Right, Blue Jackets fans? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just, I just do not like the Blue Jackets logo. Uh, Rangers, kind of a classic one as well. Um, but also kind of norm to me. Um, actually, this might upset some people. But I definitely prefer the Islanders logo to it. And uh, I'll actually put it below the Florida logo as well. I think this is a good spot for it. Ottawa Senators 2D logo. I would say, I I forget why they came up with the name Senators. Um, because now that I'm not thinking of why they came up with the name Senators, I'm thinking, why did they do this again? <laughs> you know, uh, what is it, a, a Trojan or a Spartan? I'm not exactly sure which, which Roman guy it is. But anyway, the logo itself, though, is nice. Uh, I like it. I would definitely put it nice. I'd probably put it... Uh, right behind Calgary, actually, because um, it's good. Now, do I prefer this or the 3D logo? I think they're both nice. I probably would lean toward this, but yeah. Uh, Pittsburgh, not a Pittsburgh fan at all, but it's definitely up in the grand here. Like, it's a great logo. I, I, I do prefer the RoboPen myself, but uh, yeah, I still think it's grand. I'll put it below Buffalo there. Philly. Um, I like Philly, but again, <laughs> the, the logo is not much. I'll still put it in. Uh, I'll still put it in Norm, though. I'll probably put it just here below the Montreal Canadiens. Um, that's a good spot for me. Sharks, San Jose Sharks. Um, I love both their logos, both the uh, '90s one and this updated one here. I will put the Sharks probably ahead of the Penguins. Yeah, Sharks are good. I feel like I've I've had the Sharks higher before in lists. I did this kind of list. Um, a few years ago but yeah sharks to me that's uh it's a definitely solid logo it might not be as high ranked as i used to have it but still a great logo uh st louis blues they their logo like it's good enough uh, it's not my favorite thing in the world you know what it's good enough but i'm just kind of thinking i'm probably going to put it just ahead of edmonton and meh like i don't know if i would 
put it up a tier. Sorry, Blues fans. Uh, the Kraken, same thing. Um, I don't know. It's got cool elements, but I, I feel like it could be better. You know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of just the, the letter S, stylized, cool. I just wish that we got an actual Kraken as a logo. Um, or at least as some kind of logo. Maybe a secondary logo or something like and I guess there's time for that in the future. Maybe a third jersey or something like that. I think it would be cool. I think it would be cool to have like a something with the actual Kraken on it. Some kind of jersey with the actual Kraken on it. Um, so maybe this stays as their main logo. But even as their main logo, because uh, this is current primary logos, I guess it could stay like this. But still, it's to me, it's kind of met as well. Um, even below the blues, I would say. So that's where I'd put that. Uh, Tampa. Mm, I like their old logo better. I don't mind this though. I think people mind it more than, uh, than, uh, it deserves. So I'll probably put it in norm still. Um, but I'll probably put it at the end norm for now. Uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. This logo definitely is way better than the one they had during the Kessel era. And while well, like the whole era since like what Harold Ballard, um, this is definitely the better logo. Um, I like their 1967 cup logo probably the most out of any of them, but this is still a very good logo. And so I will, uh, uh, where do I, I think it's above norm, honestly. I think it's above these ones as well. I actually, you know what? Probably would put it above Calgary. And uh, that's probably a good one. It's, it's nice. I, I don't mind the Leafs logo at all. I think it looks pretty nice. Maybe I'm biased because I'm Canadian. Although, you know, do I like red leaves better? Yeah, but <laughs> red maple leaves. Um, okay, here's here's our excrement. Uh, yeah, it's sad that that's their logo. It really is. I really hope they come up with a name um, before the uh, start of the season. At least, even if this doesn't change, uh, I hope they actually announce a name. And maybe if they do, maybe they can put uh, take away this hockey and just put Yeti underneath, because <laughs> I'm assuming it's going to be Yeti. Uh, maybe it won't be Yeti, but uh, <laughs> uh, maybe it'll be Venom, like I like. And maybe they can do that for the first season, but it would be nice if they had a name. Anything that says Hockey Club on it is terrible. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, not anything that says Hockey Club, I should say. Any, like, NHL team primary logo or primary anything, um, then, yeah. Then it's terrible. Uh, Vancouver, the Orca. I, I like the Orca. I'm more of a stick and rink guy, and even I like the skate probably better than Orca. But um, the Orca's great. The Orca definitely belongs in Grand, and honestly, I mean, this is a bit biased because I'm a Canucks fan, but um, um, do I put it ahead of the Shark? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll, I'll leave it there. Mr. Biased me. Um, you know what? This Vegas, it's so mad to me. Uh, it's probably here, just below the Kraken. Um, it always, to me, looked like it was a college logo uh, when it came out. I was like, mm. now, has it grown on me a little bit? A little bit, but a very little bit. You know, like, not that much. Uh, yeah, it's a V. Oh, it makes a V for Vegas. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, uh, this Caps logo is rubbish as well. Um, honestly, though, I kind of like it better than the Columbus logo. <laughs> That's pretty bad. But, uh, yeah, Washington needs to change their logo, whether it's to the Weagle or the Screaming Eagle. I would love the Screaming Eagle. I know Caps fans don't really seem to want it back that much. Or I say Caps fans as, like, everyone, but uh, it's not everyone, obviously. There's... Fans that obviously love the Screaming Eagle, but I have seen that people don't like to remember the era of the Screaming Eagle, which is interesting because, I mean, they made the finals in that, which is pretty good. That's the Bondra era, right? Like, do you not want to go back to the Bondra era? I know you didn't win the cup, but, uh, like, that's still a good Caps era. When they went back to, to this logo at first, it was going back to a, a bad era, right? Like, <laughs> so it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, I, I don't know. Going back to the, going away from the Screaming Eagle at first was, I don't know, to me kind of a weird choice. Uh, now, I will say, I think that they made nice jerseys, you know, starting off the Reebok era. I think those jerseys were nice, but it's just that they can be so much better with something that's not a word mark like this, you know, so 
uh, and the Jets. I don't, I don't like this logo that much, but it's better than a lot of them. Um, I like the idea of it at least, you know, representing the kind of like the, I guess it, what would it be the Air Force logo, the Canadian Royal Canadian Air Force logo? Is that what it is? It's something to do with a logo that's on a jet, and I'm pretty sure it's what it is. And then put an actual jet on it. And so, I don't know. It, I like the idea of it, but do I actually like the look of it that much? Uh, maybe not as much. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna probably put it just in the norm. And uh, head of Tampa. Yeah, probably. Head of the Kings. Nah, I'll probably put it right there. So, there is my... NHL logo tier list. This is how much I love each current NHL primary logo. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's there's some that I really don't love. Most of them are decent enough, right? Most of them at least make it to the norm category. But uh, yeah, that's my uh, that's my opinion. Let me know which team's logo that's, I guess, not your favorite team. Let's say, don't say your favorite team. If you say your favorite team and your favorite team is your favorite logo, you can say that, but then also give me your teams or sorry your favorite logo that's not your teams um for me it's minnesota uh, and it would be minnesota anyway just because the logo itself is just so nice um i know everyone loves chicago uh i shouldn't say everyone loves chicago uh but a, like that logo is just beloved uh just because how colorful it is uh the detroit logo i think is very well received usually in the anaheim logo as well um, I think the one that I have higher than, than most people, like if I were to take one out of nice and up, it would probably be the Canes logo, uh, that people would mostly not like. Usually the Canes logo is rated lower. I usually have it a lot higher on my list. I kind of like it. I do like it. Um, but yeah. And then the Islanders logo is probably higher than most people would have it. And, um, I would say the Kraken logo is probably lower than most people would have it. So... Yeah, I don't know. And obviously, I think the Blue Jackets logo is lower than most people, but I just really don't like that logo. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, let me know what your choices would be, your thoughts on this are, and uh, yeah, 